This is MSJ Chem and in this video I'll be looking at trends in atomic and ionic radius. So that's the trends in the atomic and ionic radius down a group and across a period in the periodic table. So we'll start by looking at how atomic radius is measured. The atomic radius is measured as half the distance between two neighboring nuclei. So here we have two atoms and two neighboring nuclei which are the red circles here and here and the atomic radius is measured as half the distance between the two neighboring nuclei. So let's start by looking at trends in atomic radius. So on this periodic table we have the atomic radius at the top and the ionic radius at the bottom. So let's take a look at group 1. So going down group 1 we have lithium which has an atomic radius of 130 times 10 to the negative 12 meters and as you can see as you go down group 1 the atomic radius is increasing. So if we look at group 2 starting with beryllium which has an atomic radius of 99 times 10 to the negative 12 meters you can see as you go down group 2 the atomic radius is increasing. So the general trend in the periodic table is atomic radius increases down a group. Next we look at the trend in atomic radius across a period. So we look at period 2, starting with lithium, which has an atomic radius of 130 times 10 to the negative 12 meters. Then moving on to beryllium, and then boron, and then carbon, and then nitrogen and oxygen, and then fluorine. So as you can see, as you go from left to right across a period, the atomic radius decreases. So the general trend is atomic radius decreases across a period. So this is the trend in atomic radius down group 1. So here we have the first four elements in group 1, lithium, sodium, potassium and rubidium. So as you go down the group, the atomic radius is increasing. And if you look at the electronic configuration, you can see the reason for this. Lithium has two occupied energy levels, sodium has three occupied energy levels, potassium has four occupied energy levels and rubidium has five occupied energy levels. So atomic radius increases down group 1 as the number of occupied energy levels increases. This applies to all the groups in the periodic table. As you go down a group, the number of occupied energy levels increases and so does the atomic radius. Next we look at the reasons for the decrease in atomic radius across a period. So the trend in atomic radius across period 3 from sodium to chlorine, excluding the noble gas argon, you can see that the atomic radius decreases. The atomic number, which is at the top here, increases by 1 as you go across a period. So as you go from left to right in the periodic table, the nuclear charge increases. If we look at the electronic configurations of sodium to chlorine, as we go across a period, the number of electrons is increasing by 1. Another thing you'll notice is the electrons are being added to the same main energy level, which is n equals 3. Sodium has one electron in the n equals 3 energy level, magnesium has two electrons in the n equals 3 energy level, and so on until chlorine, which has seven electrons in the n equals 3 energy level. So nuclear charge increases across a period. You can see that the atomic number increases by 1 from left to right. The second point, electrons are added to the same main energy level, which in this case is n equals 3. And you can see that from the electronic configurations. So because of these two points, the energy level, which is n equals 3, is attracted closer to the nucleus. Therefore, the atomic radius decreases. 